Well, I'm here now to interview Reba and Rex, two members of the Kurdish community, to find out more about their experiences of life in Britain. Hey guys, how are you doing? You all right? Good to see you. Thank you for coming along. Okay. I've got Reba and Rex here. Uh, thank you very much for coming along today. Now, you guys are both members of the Kurdish community. Um, now for the benefit of the people viewing this, um, not a lot of people actually know where you guys are from. So what I've got here is I've got a marker pen there and I'd like one of you to take that pen and point out or mark down exactly where you're from on that map. Well, we're from north of Iraq, that's where we're from, but there's also some part of Iran, Turkey and Syria, which are still Kurdish, but where we normally, our country is Iraq, north of Iraq, which is Kurdistan of Iraq, and it's like as I've marked it here, Mm -hmm. That's uh, where we came from. Okay. Okay. So, um, yourselves and, and people, um, other people in your community, you guys have come a long way to get here. Could you describe to me some of the hardships that your people have, have gone through to, to migrate to our country? Um, to be honest, there are many different ways that people try to get over this country, and there are even people who got killed trying to get over to European countries to save their lives and family who was back home to save their lives as well, like, because they had a lot of problems. Some of them had like personal like family problems, some people had uh, political problems, different type of problems, so that's why people started coming out of the country and um, we had different experience of coming over. Me and Rex, we came on a different, because our family, my dad, our dad was here already, so we came on a visa, we didn't uh, have the experience that other people had, some of like they came on lorries, ships and different way mm. of that. They came in. Uh, luckily, because uh, our dad had been here way before us, he managed to get a visa for us. So, basic from personal point of view, me, my brother, and my mum we came from Syria on a plane, which other people have found it quite hard getting over here behind the lorry, like many Ill- illegal ways. But obviously, they've had no choice to make a living for their family, help them financially, mm. or they must have had political problems it just depends and like for whatever reason they've come here but luckily like I've just said to you we came on a plane which was a lot easier yeah okay so um tell me which side of the coin is it is it difficulties in Kurdistan that caused you to come here or is it the economic benefits of life in Britain to be honest like I said everyone has their own reason but from a personal point of view, for us, uh, my dad came here about uh, in 2001. Mostly it was financially and also he always wanted for me and my brother to have a really good education. As we all know, in England, people travel all the way from the world to come here, to come to university because the qualification is so good. Mm. So And also, uh, he had some political problem as well because in Iraq it's a bit, a bit crazy. You've got a lot of politics, a lot of people are getting killed. But mostly I'd say it was financially and also because of the university and the education. Okay. Um, could you both tell me now, you, you've, both, you've lived here for a long time, uh, you're pursuing your respective educational and career paths. Um, what are your feelings regarding life in Britain? How do you find it? To be honest with you, uh, it, it's been really good. Like learning English, that's a big thing wherever you go around the world. If you say you can, obviously, if you can talk in English, that will make life a lot easier. I have gained a lot of experience work wise, everything. But on the other hand, there's been like lots of problems as well. 
because uh, all the fingers are the same. There's a lot of people who doesn't like foreigners. You go apply for a job, and then as soon as they see your name, it's not English. Like it's, it's a lot of you, you know you gain a lot of experience. But overall, I'd say I'm pleased to be here. Okay. Yeah, it was a for me. It was a bit different experience when we came into the country that time. There was not many Kurdish people around Huddersfield, and uh, I used to live in Fatan. I couldn't go to Fatan High School because there was not a Kurdish person that over there, so I could because I couldn't speak English. I, I didn't want to go to a school where I could get bullied, so I had to. I chose Morand, which was a bit more uh, mixtural, and there was some of the Kurdish people there. So I started going to that uh, school um, till we sp we picked up the language. We couldn't even commit. We couldn't even get on with the people around our area, so I couldn't even come outside to play with normal people. When I started playing football. First, I had a lot of problems with the people until they, I started speaking English and pick up the language. Then, because of football and colleges, and we started making friends with different, mm. like, English people, black people, Asian people. We all like got on well. So now we're doing quite well with the different cultures, people. Yeah. Good. I um, mean, you've already gone into it um, in to a certain extent, uh, but I'd like you to go a little bit further into depth with regards to um, how do you see the or how do you find the opportunities for education and employment in Britain? Is it hard, or does the system make it...? To be honest with you, I, th I would see it a bit hard, especially employment, because uh, I've got so many friends and like lots of experience that me and my brother, I'd say, we've applied from... Do you know what? From school, I applied for so many different jobs here, yeah, and I couldn't get one single job. And, uh, we, we weren't really, really good at football, but we did try to, uh, you know... From from a young age, every kid they've got their own dreams, mm. and I tried so hard, you know, to get somewhere uh, playing football. But I'd say it's, it was really hard, as we can see in the Premier League. There are so many football teams here. You don't see one Asian player. I mean, there must be a talent out of all these million people living in this country. There must be one people who who's good at football. You don't see not even in Championship. So I'd say it is a bit hard if you're not English. It will be really hard for you to get into those situations, into those places. As education, because I also did uh, uh, school until year seven back home, which was um, really, com compared to here, education back home is really hard and it's too complicated compared to the one that we do study here. So I found studying here, is, for me, was easy until I got to university. But when you get to university, that's the next step of, and I found it a bit, dif a bit difficult, but compared to the education that I had to study back home, even the, st I say, why I studied in year seven back home and why I study at university now, for me, it was like balance. That's like how much different. Back home was really hard for us to study because we had so many exams. It, from year seven, we had like an exam every single month for like six exams for every subject and exam. Okay. So it was really difficult. But when you when you got here, I got really comfortable with the studies. But when it comes to the job wise, like Reckon mentioned already. Um, for example, I've been applying, trying to get a bank job, I work in a bank, and to work in a bank, all you need is five GCSEs plus English and maths, but I've got way higher than that because I'm already at university. I've been trying a lot, I've got good CV, I've got like references, and I've done a lot of experience. I've had my own business, I've worked in management places, but it's still, I find it really difficult to get into a bank place. I guess uh, about employment is because you just need the right link to get to know the right persons and if you've got people that you know that knows you already it'll be easier to get to a better job than we already do it's um, so i'd say it might be a bit of because where you're from or might be i don't um in a way i'd say it's just all about the links if you know if you've got the right people if you know people from the place where you want to okay. apply for you could get the job yeah and to be like it. I just want to mention this as well. I don't want to be like negative about everything. There is a lot of good things about this country coming over here, especially in Huddersfield. We've got so many uh, like uh, places like Craft, a community which helped foreigners. I used to work there myself, voluntary. Okay. We've got, we had a lot of people coming here. They didn't charge a single penny, filling application forms, helping you with every single thing that you wanted. There's also Culture United. So we can't be really negative. There is a lot of good things. If there wasn't like so many good things, people wouldn't come from all over this country, all over the world to this country.